Okay, I'm going to show you a little trick or technique called side chaining in Studio One and how it works. So let's get over to the screen. All right, I made a little ditty. That's what old people say. And it goes like this. All right, so it's a synth, and then there's drums in the back, and then there's a bass line. So if we just solo the bass or the drums in the bass, now if you hear it, the bass note is playing at the same time as the bass drum. And a lot of times in a dancey type beat, or if, or if you just want your bass drum to kick through, and sound really thick and loud. You don't want to have a bass note or a bass guitar playing at the exact same time if they're sharing that same frequency because then the kick gets a little weak and you don't want that. You want your kick drum to just pound through. So a lot of times people use what's called side chaining and it basically means this. It means every time this kick drum plays, this bass drum, it lowers the volume of my bass notes here. These are my bass notes. This is the bass line. So now I'll just play the bass line. So every time the kick drum plays, it will lower the volume of the note that's playing at the same time as the kick drum. So I'll show you. If you want to, uh, want to do that process, we do it with uh, an effect called a compressor. So go into Personas under under effects, and we go to Personas, and we want to go to Compressor, and you want to put it on the track of the thing you want to lower in volume. So in this case, we want our bass note, our bass guitar, to lower in volume, or synthesizer to lower in volume. So I'm using a plugin called Falcon. I'm just going to drop it in this track. And then we'll see it show up over here. If you're not seeing all these um, settings over here, you just have to click I at the top. And then you get these settings over here. So now we have a compressor in on the track with Falcon. And when you play it with just normal, it doesn't really do much. It sounds exactly the same. If I turn it on or off, which you could do with this button here, no difference. So what we want to do is every time this kick drum hits, we want this compressor to squash down the volume of that bass note. Here's what it's going to sound like. Oops, bit kick. There. All right, so we want to, to do that. We want to turn on this option called side chain because you have this kick drum on the side and we're chaining it to this compressor. So click this knob. And we want to find out actually what channel our kick drum is on. And because the impact instrument in Studio One has like seven or eight channels. And we just want to do the one the kick drum's on, not any of the other ones. How do we find that out? Well, we go to impact and we actually look at the drum machine. And the bass drum is going to channel one. So that's all we got to worry about, channel one. So let's go back. Let's go to side chain and let's look main out no impact channel one stereo one that's the one we want so i think it's that no that's the wrong one this cool so now the side chain's all set up so just make sure your compressor's turned on and then you'll see every time that kick drum hits, you're going to see it show up over here. It's, well, it's set a little high. So what we're going to, what we have to do to make this work is lower this thing here called the threshold. Watch, I'm going to lower it a lot and I'll show you what it's like. You hear that difference now? The volume of this bass note lowers every time that kick drum plays. And you can see the kick drum with that yellow line. That's the kick drum playing and how much volume this is going down. And you can hear that pumpy sound. Pump, pump, pump. It's literally like taking a pump on this instrument. I'll turn it off and you hear the difference. 
That's off. This is on. Cool, right? Let's hear how it sounds with the other instrument in there. And this is with it off. This is with it on. If you had headphones on, you would definitely hear the kick drum coming through more. Now let's get crazy. Let's put it on the, this synthesizer track two, as well as the bass. This one. Let's do the same thing. You take a compressor, you throw it on that instrument, you turn on side chain, you turn this on, you say you want it for impact channel one, send, and then let's play it and adjust. Here it is with bass. You just hear the kick drum pump through more when there's that side chain. And that's, that's how you get that pumping sound. At least in Studio One and in many programs, you could do it with a compressor. So you can get really extreme and really have that kick drum pop through. That's what's called side chain compression. You could use it on anything. Experiment, have fun with it, get creative, make cool stuff with it. Talk to you later.